Thank you. So yeah, this is going to be a light one, learning through writing. And I'll use the example of inner source patterns. And we've heard so much about inner source already. So I'll just go about this really briefly again. So just what is inner source is this idea of using open source style collaboration approaches, but inside of your company, right? So at a FOSS conference like, like here, I mean, you probably have an idea what open source means, or you might have. So using those ideas inside of your company with your, with your colleagues on non-open source projects. Um, so what could inner source patterns be then in that context? I tried to describe that as simply as I could. So it's really written stories about things that have worked for other people in other contexts. And the inner source commons has collected a bunch of these patterns. And I'll just show you how this, how this looks like. So we've published the most uh, mature patterns as a book. And I mentioned these are just stories of experiences that people have made at various companies of things that work. For example, there's the trusted committer pattern down here that describes how it can be useful to uh, establish that concept of a trusted committer and to help to give people more say in a project and uh, bring them bring them basically into the fold by giving them more rights in the community and that type of stuff. So I've said earlier that these patterns are just stories, but you can already tell here, well, normally stories don't have all these sections and uh, subheadings and stuff like that. So yeah, it is a little bit different in the patterns because how they work is it gives you a predefined structure with like the problem, what's the context that this problem appears in, what are the forces that are impacting this problem, like what makes it hard to solve it, and then the solution section, and what you want the resulting context to look like, like after your solution is in place, right? So it's not your regular story that you would tell to a friend. It's a little bit more, it's a little bit more structured. But something interesting happens there when you are trying to describe your problem in such a predefined structure. Uh, it can help you think it through. Uh, in really beneficial ways. So a bit more about people that are writing those patterns. Well, really, anybody can. Uh, we find that many times developers and architects are writing them, but also product owners or de designers, people working in a program office, like often inner source is located, could be, in the, could be in the OSPO office of your company, could be a dedicated inner source office. Could also be that the company doesn't have any office for this type of purpose, but it's just Maybe it's a guild or it's some type of cross-cutting concern in your company where people are interested in these inner source concepts. So yeah, this talk is about learning from writing. So the question could be, well, what's in it for me, right? Why should I write up a problem that I have at my workplace as a pattern? So one thing that I found for myself personally, just writing things down, especially trying to get it into a certain structure that is predefined, really helps you to think it through. So I found it really beneficial to do that. Also, when I'm writing it in a way that the writing that I'm producing is open source, right? So I know that I'm talking to people outside of my company. That means I have to remove all the jargon and you know, like things that I take for granted and that type of stuff. And I have to abstract it to a place where other people can understand it. And again, I find that increases the clarity of expression and the clarity of thinking quite quite a bit. So writing things down just for that purpose is already helpful for yourself. Then the other thing is once you've written it down and you can show it to other people, I mean, just like a blog post or something else or a video or a conference talk or anything where you're putting your topic out there, it allows you to start conversations with other people, right? So for example, if I write something up, like a problem that I have, and even if I don't have a solution yet, I can already publish that. That will allow me to find other people that uh, might have experienced something similar. And in the absolute best case, you find other people with that same challenge, and maybe they've found a solution already, like Russ was talking earlier about how they are addressing things at Nike, so maybe they've figured something out already, so maybe we can solve it together. So that's actually end all my lightning talks. Just a couple of links here that I'll share later in the, in the chat to the patterns book, to the Slack channel from the inner source comments. And there's actually even a pattern how writing things down can help you with trans 
transparent cross-team decision-making. So that's also kind of related to how writing is beneficial. Thank you all. Here You can find me here or later in the, in the lounge. <laughs>